Much of my work uses epic historical narratives or monumental architectures to think about the potential for change in the present tense or to think about where human agency fits in. This piece is functioning like a Roman ruin and it opens up this question as to whether this history exists fully in the past or also somewhat in the present. You have the archways and you have a sense of this furniture, but other elements of the room have been lost. You're left to imagine the history and to reactivate it with your own interactions in the space. In 1977, two pioneering public art organizations, City Walls and the Public Arts Council, merged to become the Public Art Fund. And my mother, Doris Friedman, was the president of both. The entrance to the park at Fifth Avenue and 60th Street had a resonance for us as the entrance to one of the great public civic spaces in the city. To exhibit temporary work there it made all the sense in the world. When my mother died, Mayor Ed Koch named it Doris Friedman Plaza in her memory. A wonderfully diverse group of artists have created works, especially for Doris Friedman Plaza. So I'm thrilled about the project that the LA artist Liz Glynn has developed for the site. It feels like a tremendously appropriate exhibition for this 40th anniversary year. A lot of artists have made singular objects to take that space, and Liz has conceived of it as a whole environment, this total experience of public space. The title of the piece, Open House, refers to the real estate market, thinking about the question of who has access not only to these rarefied spaces, but to any form of private space. The piece is based on Sanford White's design for William Collins Whitney's Ballroom, which was one of the first freestanding ballrooms in New York City during the Gilded Age. The original furniture were copies of Louis XIV pieces that were created out of opulent carved wood, these very luxuriant textiles and very rarefied, expensive materials. I wanted to recreate them in a very poor material, but something that also had a universality to it. You could cast concrete into most any form imaginable. I like the idea of casting because you can take this thing, which is a quantity of dust or liquid, and form it into whatever shape you can imagine. One of the curious things that happens when you're working on a project for a long time is sometimes a contemporary moment comes up to meet the piece. Many economists suggest that we've entered another Gilded Age at this moment as we've hit unprecedented levels of inequality in income. The piece, for me, as much as it is about the past, is intended to reflect on the future and to think about what kind of city do we want New York to be in the next century. <laughs>